I'm Meredith with ExtremeTerrain.com and this is Jeep News. I have some exciting news and pictures to share with you all about the new 2018 JL Wrangler. Mopar just released what we have all been waiting for, the production pictures of the JL that confirm information brought to us by some of those spy shots with and without the camo. Of course, in every Jeep News episode, we like to give away free Jeep parts, so make sure you stick around for the giveaway. But first, let's get right to the JL. Now, Mopar really hit us with some news yesterday at SEMA. Ryan's currently over there, so I'm sure we will see what is behind those glorious walls on Friday. What I can tell you so far is that it looks like we are sticking to the current grille design, but the JL is getting new and improved LED headlights, new turn signals and lighting on the fender, and a very refreshed body line with taller windows and less rake in the hood. We were unsure before what trim levels those would be on and what would be included in the packages, but from the pictures that we got, there are model names on the side confirming what we can expect between the Sahara and the Rubicon models. We didn't get any shots of the Sport model, but we can probably just expect some more basic trim with the same body lines. This is gonna be the confirmed Sahara option. Now Mopar did state that there will be dozens of different door, top, and windshield combinations, so you may be able to change some things up to the Sahara trim level. What I always liked about the Sahara models is that they are usually the more finished and luxurious of all of the trim levels, with bigger wheels, painted tops, painted fenders, and the upgraded interior included. It looks like Jeep kept a lot of that here on the JL with the painted fenders and bigger wheels than other trims. I personally like what they did here with the Sahara wheel. It looks like a bigger wheel size, like an 18 inch wheel, but it's not as flashy as the other Sahara models, which is really tasteful on Jeep's part. It looks like they did step it up a notch with what looks like stainless steel grille inserts with mesh backing, stainless steel hinges, and even some stainless steel trim on what looks like a refinished and very clean 10th anniversary front bumper. Looking a little closer at the front bumper, we do see the LED fogs are pushed out towards the side with some mesh vents around it, making it a very clean look to add to that space. Moving a little back, there is that noticeable vent that we were unsure of what trim it was gonna be on. Since we do see it here on the Sahara, it looks like this will be standard on most of the models. Moving up, I did notice something that is notable. There is no antenna or even, it's just a very short antenna. Mopar does have what looks like a mount from the older version, but it's actually the antenna and the huge antenna is deleted, which is pretty nice for those people who swap out the shorty antennas anyway. The side steps are upgraded on this thing, but still seem to be standard and raise up to the sides to meet the fenders. It looks like we are keeping the raised hood that we saw in previous pictures with some new and possibly easier hood catches to work with. To go back to the windshield options, we do have that hinge that is there on the windshield, so you will be keeping that option on the Sahara as well. Above that, we do get a glimpse of the interior with a factory grab bar I see, and it looks like it's not only in the front, but in the back as well for the four doors, and that's a nice add-on that we're getting when you're getting in and out of the Jeep. Mopar released finished shots of our beloved Rubicon, and as we can tell, it'll include a bunch of options. What you notice in this picture right off the bat is the windshield. It looks like we do get to confirm that we will be keeping that folded down option, but seems to be a lot easier since they're showing it off, while also mentioning that they will be a ton of options with your windshield as well as your doors. In this shot, we won't be able to confirm much on the doors as well as the top on the Rubicon model since they are completely off, but it does give us a really good look at the interior and the newly painted roll bar, which I think looks pretty awesome really gives us a finished feel to the Jeep when the top is off, and with this red color, it's really something to show off. Starting from the front to the back, it looks like we are keeping those iconic 10th anniversary front bumper and back bumper that I mentioned before, but I know Jeep will have some improvements in store with that. Up top, we do see the windshield laying on what is the new ruby hood, which I will cover in just a moment, but the windshield is laying on some new bump stops from our typical old two knobs and what looks like to be a more flat surface for more support. On the side, we do see that standard vent that I did talk about, and we also see that the fenders are painted like the Sahara model, adding that finished look to the Rubicon. It looks like we get to keep those standard ruby rails as well that will most likely be improved in 2018, so why knock a good part when it works? 
Moving to the back, we do see a couple of new things like the new gas cap cover, the LED taillights that have lighting wrapped around the side, and a new and improved tire carrier. For the tire carrier, we really can't see much here, but it looks like this will provide a ton of support to a larger Ruby tire with a third brake light that looks like a brace. Talking about tires, you can see that we do get the smaller Ruby wheels here wrapped in a BF Goodrich all-terrain tire, which gives us a nice tread and some beefy sidewall from the factory. Now, I don't see any sizes here, but it looks like a 16 or 17 inch wheel wrapped in a 33. I do like what Jeep did here with the Ruby wheels, keeping a one up from other trim levels. It looks like we get away from those larger and flatter spokes with individualizing the spokes on the wheel, and they go out to a nice border that makes it really stand out. And of course, we get to keep our little iconic Jeep decal on the wheel. What I'm most excited for is this top shot that we have here. We have a great look at the interior and some other goodies that we can confirm. So the windshield is up and it gives us a huge view of the hood. We get to see the new hood vents that will let the engine breathe, the windshield stops and the body lines that make the Rubicon really stand out and look more rugged than other trims. What I find very noticeable in this aerial shot are the fenders. Now the fenders are not nearly as large as the older fenders and they slant into the body making it look very sleek. I do notice on top of the windshield there are some latches. This may be an option for the hardtop or this could be the easy open windshield design that I mentioned before. We get a sneak peek of the interior too which looks like leather seating with our standard ruby embroidery but overall what I notice is a lot more room. The two door seems to have more leg room for passengers in the back but as you can tell it looks like we will be sacrificing a little bit of cargo space for that. We do also see some storage on the side for the passengers if you look really hard. Now, to touch on the painted roll bar, I am definitely a fan. You see what looks like a new and improved sound bar with some bumpers for the top and what seem to be new attachment points for the hard top. We get rid of those little attachment knobs that thread through the sound bar into the top. From up top, we do get another glimpse of the tire carrier and it looks like it's more of a brace rather than just a mount with studs. You see two arms and a cross brace coming up into the third brake light, which seems like it will be able to hold a larger tire better. That's gonna be good for down the line when you do get the mod bug and you want some larger tires. Overall, the Ruby is looking really fierce and I can't wait to get my hands on one. Now with the 2018 JL production pictures, Mopar gave us something else they have been working just as hard on as the JL. They released a whole new line of their accessory parts for the Wrangler, including bumpers with winches and winching capabilities, beadlock wheels, and a number of different rock rails, LED lighting, and lift kits. They also released some new roof racks, snorkels, tube doors, big brake kits, and even down to the basics, like recovery kits, floor mats, and decals. They did give us a glimpse of a whole wall with a lot of their parts, and it's a lot to take in at first glance, but it will hit every angle of the Jeep. You have a bunch of different wheel options, and I did even see a worn winch on one of the bumpers and on the wall, and some Fox shocks in their lift. I think this is really cool on Jeep and Mopar's part to throw in some of those popular brands in there so you know what you're getting. It also makes me wonder what other companies are doing and how they're preparing for the release of the JL. And I'm sure we'll get some more info on that at SEMA on Friday. Not to mention these parts will be ready as soon as the JL is, so you can start modding as soon as you get your hands on one. The JL will be released at the LA Auto Show, which Ryan will cover at the end of November, so we will get to see it all there. So that basically wraps it up on my exciting JL leaks. And as always, a thanks goes out to JL Forms for keeping us updated so we're always able to update you guys right away with this awesome information. Now for our giveaway, because you know we love to give away free Jeep parts, I would like to mention that the winner of last week's Jeep News was Colton Bradford. Congrats on the gift card and I hope you got some sweet mods for your Wrangler. For this giveaway, we are newly introducing pre-painted parts for the JK, and I have some Red Rock 4x4 mirror covers painted to your factory paint code for 07 to 17. These will pop on your mirrors, giving them a sleek and finished look. To win on these guys, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you aren't already, and get in the conversation with a comment below. 
Tell us what you're most excited about about the JL, what you would change about it, or what Mopar accessories you would throw on it first. For everything Wrangler, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.